there, it's Craig here. It's time for another homebrew video. Sorry, and this time I got something a little different in store for you. Um, I have a Cooper's uh, Micro Brew Kit. Uh, this is uh, basically a homebrew in a box. Okay, everything you need to make homebrew is in here. I'm talking everything from the fermenting bucket to the bottles. It's all in this box, believe it or not. And I opened it the other night uh, and had a look inside. <laughs> I took everything out. It was amazing the way they packaged this thing. But be, believe it or not, there's a fermenter in here, fermenting bucket, all the bottles, the actual beer kit itself, instructions, everything. Um, I just think this is a really cool way to get started because you don't have to worry about running around and finding all the different um, pieces of equipment you're going to need you know, to do this. Um, you buy this kit, you get it home, you'll be making brew that day. And in about 20 days after that, you'll be drinking your own homemade beer right in your own house. Beautiful. Let's take a look and see what's inside the box, shall we? Okay, well, first off, you can see that we have the uh, fermenting bucket and all the beer bottles you'll need. These are uh, 750 milliliter bottles, so you only need 30 of them, which is cool because then you don't have to wash and cap as many bottles when you do your bottling. Um, of course, you've got the beer kit itself, which consists of the can of Cooper's malt extract and the uh, uh, brewing sugar that comes with it, that's your dextrose, all right? And you've got the instruction booklets and a DVD that shows you them actually making a batch with this kit, which is what I'm about to do right now. Uh, down here, you've got your stir stick, and uh, next to that, you see we have a hydrometer. You've got your airlock, and your little stick-on thermometer, and your bottler, they call it the little bottler. It's what you use to bottle your beer and your spigot, which is the tap that goes on the bottom of your fermenter. And over here you can see we have the caps for the bottles and the sugar, which comes in the form of little uh, little pellets. You put two of them in each beer bottle when you're about to bottle and that will prime your bottles and carbonate your beer. I'm just looking over the instructions here. I've been brewing for 25 years this way, but whenever you get something new, it's always a good idea to read the instructions. And these instructions are very detailed very simple. A lot of color pictures in here to show you what they're talking about. Okay, and the DVD that comes with the kit also uh, it is it shows a couple of people making this stuff with this kit. So it's nice to see how it actually all goes together. And inside the can, which I'm heating in a pot of hot water to soften it up a little bit, um, the can of malt extract. There's also in the lid. There's also instructions. Uh, wouldn't hurt to read these either. So there's lots of ways to get yourself educated before you do this so that you know what you're doing. So what I'm doing now is I'm heating up a pot. You can't see it. Actually, if I move this thing, you can. I've got a pot of about a gallon of hot, uh, water here that's uh, coming to a boil. And I've got my malt extract in a pot of uh, hot water uh, getting hot so when I pour it in here, it'll pour easier because it's a very, very thick substance. I've also sanitized all my equipment. Now, it talks about sanitizing in the video um, using boiling water, and you, you'll watch that when you see the video. But in the, in the instruction booklet, it also talks about using uh, just household bleach, uh, unscented bleach, which basically, uh, they, they basically recommend that you put about a half a cup of bleach in here, and then you fill the rest up with cool water, put your spoon in and anything else that's going to touch your beer, and let it soak for half an hour and then rinse it all off with hot water really good so you can't smell any more bleach and you're sanitized. All right. And if you're going to do this for any length of time, make subsequent batches, might not hurt to get yourself a sanitizer, something like sodium metabisulfite or One Step, whatever you can get your hands on and whatever you feel comfortable using. So I've got all my stuff sanitized and as soon as this pot of water comes to a boil and as soon as this uh, can gets nice and warm, we'll be ready to start brewing finally. I also have a kettle full of boiling water here, and you'll see what I'm going to use that for in a minute, okay? Okay, I've got my pot of boiling water over here, all ready to go. I've got my kettle boiled over here. I've got my nice warm can of malt extract already opened. Here's the goose. I'm going to pour that stuff, and you can see how thick that is. I'm probably going to take my spoon and try to scrape some of that out. 
That's why I've got the kettle boiled, because what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to take the boiled water from the kettle and pour it into here. Now it's hot, so you're going to need a towel. I've got a towel here. Get that poured in there. You're going to need something to pick this up with because you're going to burn yourself if you don't. Um, I'm going to take my spoon and I'm going to stir that just to get it all off the bottom. A little bit of this goes a long way, so get it all out of here. Make sure you get it all. Right? That should be fine. Awesome. Pour that in there. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is take my uh, brewing sugar. Came with the kit. And we're just going to cut this open. And add it to the uh, fermenter along with the malt extract. There you go, just the whole thing. And now, we're going to add our gallon of boiled water. It doesn't have to be exactly a gallon, but just about, about that much. Now what we're going to do is give this a good old stir. Now one thing I want to mention, and God, you know, you got to make sure, make sure that your spigot on the side here is closed. Because, you know, I've done it. I've left it open and you'll end up with a disaster on your hands because the beer is all going to start coming out of your spigot. So give this a good stir. A lot of steam coming out. It's very hot. You can give it a smell. And I would stir this for a couple of minutes just to make sure that it's all dissolved and separated and everything else. And it also helps to introduce a little bit of oxygen into it as well. At this stage, good for it, because it helps the yeast. The yeast comes in the lid of the, of the malt extract, by the way. I've got it behind me over here. I'm going to take my little sticky thermometer here. And I'm going to stick it on the side here, right above the spigot, so I can see it when I'm actually... Uh, the, way I've got the, the way I'm going to have the, um, the brew facing, you know? Now. The thing you got to think about here is you're about to put a whole bunch of water in here and there's going to be five gallons of, of water in this, of, of liquid in this thing and you don't want to be moving it too <laughs> very far because it's very heavy and uh, once you put your yeast and, and everything and put your lid on you really don't want to be moving it around too much so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it where I'm going to actually let it ferment which is just right over here on the counter. Ugh. Just make sure your spigot is over the edge of the counter. I mean, you can always move it a little bit when you're ready to bottle, but... Uh, so now what it's time to do is actually fill it with cold water. Now you could use bottled water, like those big bottles. Um, you can get a little hose like what I have. But what I'm going to do is just use what I've got here. I don't have any of my downstairs equipment up here. So I'm just going to use the pot that I used to boil the water because it's sanitized. Because we boiled water with it, right? So I'm going to use that to add the cold water. I actually have a piece of tape on the side here uh, to make it easier because there's a scale on here but it's just sort of indented and it's a little hard to see so I've got a piece of tape there so it's easier for me to see what I'm doing. That's the 23 uh, liter mark uh, for 5 gallons. Okay, so I'm just going to fill this up and just keep pouring it in until it's up to the mark. There we have it. I can see my little piece of tape I've got here. That's 23 liters, and that's what it says to fill to. So there we are. Now we want to give it a nice stir. 
to make sure that the temperatures are all even. Feels good. It doesn't feel warm. It doesn't feel cold. Do a nice stir. There we go. And according to our thermometer, we've got about 27 degrees Celsius, which is kind of up on the high end, but it's acceptable. Um, would have liked to have it a little cooler. Maybe if I added a little less, uh, a little less um, more hot boiling water, maybe as opposed to cold water would have had a little lower temperature, but that's acceptable, 27. Anywhere between 21 and 27 degrees Celsius is fine. Okay, time for our hydrometer. Let's uh, do this test and see what reading we get, all right? Okay, so we're gonna fill this up until it's, it starts to float. There we go. Now we'll just loosely place the lid on our, on our brew. Okay, so we're just going to give it a little spin, and I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I'll just bring it up to the camera. The orange part of the hydrometer, see there's a little orange band there? That sits right on the level of the uh, beer. Now we got some foam there, and if we want to take an exact reading, I guess we want to get rid of that foam. And uh, But what this is basically telling us is it's right where we want it. When it's finished, it'll be down there. Okay. So we're ready to pitch our yeast. Right on. It's a little package of Cooper's yeast that comes with the kit. It comes with all of the uh, Cooper's malt extract kits, actually. And what you're going to do is just sprinkle it on top. Now you can't. I know you can't see this. Just sprinkle it over the top evenly, more or less. And there's two schools of thought here. Stir or don't stir. Personally, I'm a stirrer. I like to stir because it, it gets the yeast activated quicker. But some people like to just leave it on top and let it naturally do its thing. Um, but I'm going to stir it because that's what I do. I always do it. I've never had a problem with that. So I'm going to give this a good stir. I can smell the yeast. It smells a little bit like applesauce. And that's good. It means it's fresh. And I'm going to give it a good stir. Grab our lid. Make sure when you thread it on, you it turns easily so it doesn't get cross-threaded. And we're going to tighten it down. Fairly tight. And then grab your airlock and uh, when you put it in the hole, twist it back and forth. Otherwise, you might push the little grommet right through the hole and then you have to start all over again. Okay? Get some previously boiled water in here. And just, we're just going to fill it up halfway, okay? So there, it's filled up about halfway. And if you can press down on the lid or squeeze the container and you get a difference in the levels and it stays like that for a while, you know you've got a good seal. Okay, it says in the instructions, don't tighten it too tight uh, at first. Um, but if you find that you don't have a good, a good seal, then you have to tighten it more. You know, I'm not sure how much easier that can get, considering everything comes in the box that you need. And in about five to seven days, you're going to be bottling it. When this thing stops bottling, you do a hydrometer test and you're ready to bottle. Um, watch my hydrometer video, but this particular hydrometer has color codes and labels on it, so you have, you'll have no problem understanding how, when, when it's time to bottle, when you do your test. And when that time comes, I will make that video. In the meantime, I enjoy using this product and I think that anyone who's looking to start making their own home brew doesn't have any equipment, it would be an awesome idea to pick this up. It's the Cooper's Micro Brew Kit. There's the website down here. I'll see you at bottling time. Take care. Cheers.